Hey, what's up? Today we're diving into Recon NG, an open source reconnaissance tool. If you're not familiar with Recon NG, think of it as your Swiss army knife for OSINT gathering. Basically, this thing is a treasure trove for people looking to scrape data on websites, businesses, and people online. Now, this video won't go too deep, because trust me, you could fall into a rabbit hole with this tool, but I'll show you how to get started and play around with some of its features. You'll be able to dig up some pretty useful info by the end of it. And don't worry, you'll get to mess around with it yourself after this. I'll just cover the essentials for now. Before we dive in, I want to quickly mention something for those of you really looking to level up in ethical hacking. If you've ever struggled with finding structured resources or knowing where to start with hacking, you're not alone. It can be overwhelming. That's why I've put together a full ethical hacking course that covers everything from the basics to advanced techniques. You get detailed lessons, quizzes to test your knowledge, and best of all, access to a private Discord community where you can ask me directly about any any questions you have related to hacking, and to make it easy for you to decide, I'm offering a 7-day free trial. You can jump in, explore the content, and see if it's the right fit. No strings attached. This course is designed to give you the skills you need to actually apply what you've learned. And if you're on the fence, we've got tons of students already seeing results. They're sharing their success stories in the Discord regularly, so if you want to take that next step, the link's down below, spots are filling up, so now's the best time to join. Alright, the first step is launching the tool. If you've just installed it, you'll notice that ReconNG throws a bunch of errors right out of the gate. Don't panic. These aren't your typical My Computers on Fire errors. They're more like, hey, I need some credentials to get stuff done errors. For example, you might see messages like, Hunter IO key not set. That's basically the tool reminding you it can't do certain things unless you give it API keys. We'll get to what those are in a second. Now if you're using a fresh install of Parrot or Kali Linux, or really any distro, you'll get those errors because Recon NG depends on various APIs to gather data. APIs, for those who don't know, are kind of like messengers. They let your tools request information from other services, like Shodan or Hunter.io, by logging in with a special key. No key, no info. Simple as that. Alright, once you've got Recon NG up and running, you'll see a bunch of different modules. These are basically tools within the tool. Each module is designed to do specific things, like gathering contact information, scanning DNS records, or searching for files on a website. If you type module search and then something like recon, you'll see a list of reconnaissance related modules pop up. This will include things like scraping profile info from social media platforms, think LinkedIn or GitHub, pulling down public data from sites, and more. One quick thing to note, if you don't have an API key set up for a specific service, Recon NG will still show you the module, but it'll throw those errors I mentioned. In some cases, that's fine. You can still do some manual work without the keys. But if you want to go full power, it's a good idea to grab those keys from the sites or services you want to scrape info from. Let me show you how a couple of modules work, and then we'll dig into why this tool is so awesome for pen testing or reconnaissance in general. First up, say you want to find some interesting files on a website. Let's take a module called Info Disclosure. This is a quick and dirty way to gather up things like robots.txt, site map.xml, or even admin pages that haven't been properly secured. Here's how you'd use it. Start by loading the module. Modules load in for disclosure interesting files. Set your target, called source in recon ng, set source tryhackme.com. Run the module. You'll see the tool spit out some information. Within seconds it can dig up things like robots.txt, sitemap.xml, admin panels, and other files that can be useful for reconnaissance, instead of running a traditional web crawler like Derbuster or GoBuster, which can take ages to go through a site. Recon NG can give you quick results right out of the gate. In a pen test scenario, you want fast, actionable intel, and this is one way to grab it. Now here's where things might get a bit tricky. Some modules require dependencies, like specific Python libraries. If you're running into errors where a module won't work or shows as disabled, it's probably missing one of those dependencies. You can figure this out by running marketplace info followed by the module name. It'll tell you what you need. For example, if the module Metacrawler needs LXML and PDF Miner, you can install them like this. sudo pip install LXML PDF Miner. Once the dependencies are sorted, the module will work without a hitch. This is one of those things where, yes, it can be a little annoying at first, but trust me, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. There are loads of modules in Recon NG. Some of my favorites include Metacrawler. 
This one crawls websites and pulls down files like PDFs, docs and XMLs. Super useful if you're trying to gather as much info as possible, quickly. You can also find sensitive files that might have been left exposed on public servers. Who is Lookup? This is the classic who owns this domain tool. It's a must have for any recon, giving you insight into domain ownership, registrar info and sometimes even contact details. MX Record Lookup. This one digs into the mail servers of a domain, which can be useful for figuring out how a company handles email. In some cases, you can even pull the names of those servers and check if they've been properly secured. ReconNG automates all of this. Instead of running each task manually, you can load a few modules and boom, you have a bunch of useful data in a few minutes. This is where Recon NG shines as a time saver. When you're running Recon over a long period of time, say you're doing a pen test for a company, you'll want to organize your data. Recon NG has a handy feature called Workspaces. Each workspace is like a folder that keeps all the data you gather separate from other projects. Let's say you're working on Company X. You can create a workspace like this. Recon NG W Company X. Now all your data, modules, search results, everything is stored under that workspace. This makes it easy to jump back in later without losing progress. So that's a quick walkthrough of how Recon NG works. It's an incredibly powerful tool for gathering intel. And while it's not the only tool you should use for reconnaissance, it's definitely one of the more comprehensive ones out there. Just a reminder though, while Recon NG pulls info from publicly available sources, so it's not illegal, it's still important to stay ethical. Don't go scanning random websites unless you have permission. If you're working for a company or on your own site, go nuts. But if you're snooping around where you shouldn't be, yeah, that's a no-go. Anyway, have fun exploring Recon NG and remember, the more you dig, the more you'll find. Just don't dig yourself into a hole you can't get out of. No 20 hour course, we keep it tight Straight to the point, get your skills right Complete from A to Z, we go all in With quizzes on that's what's sinking in Learn together, community vibe Ask me anything, I'm here on the side Seven day for trial, no need to pay Jumping out, no 